What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fate987, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, and this is the old toy line, not Studio Series or anything. This is Power, this is a Fast Action Battlers Long Haul. This figure gives me memories, but not the exact memories that you would think. This figure is nostalgia, in a way. I didn't have this figure before, but I have seen reviews on it, and it's pretty good for what it does. But that's not the reason why I have nostalgia for it. My first ever Megatron figure was Revenge of the Fallen and Fast Action Battlers. And yeah, it's not the best figure. Like, just seriously, the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron was done dirty back way then. It, the Studio Series or even the Byway is so much better. And in truth, I kind of want to get the Byway. But right now, I'm focused on other things like trying to get a job. But anyway, it does roll like rolling things should. And this is long haul, by the way. If if you haven't known, if I if I haven't said it right now, this, this is long. So, what do you want for side comparison? Well, this is an in an this is inaccurate scale. So we have to use the Earth Spark scale. I've been calling. And yeah, you can also see a newcomer, Optimus Prime. That's gonna be a later review, by the way. Like possibly after like two or three videos later. I don't know. But yeah. There's that scale, so, and if you want, like, smaller deluxe, well, I mean, there you go. That's another video will be coming out soon, hopefully. Now, I'm just giving you a lot of teasers, <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's safe to say that literally this does not go, well, hold up, there's also one other figure, and this was my next review, by the way. This is actually going, spoilers, be my next review, and this figure quite surprised me. But, yeah, we'll just leave that out of the way for now. So, let's get down to transformation, because there's really nothing much to do. So, first you want to do is you want to, well, you want to unpeg from the legs, and you want to bring them all the way down, like so, and then you want to split them. Then, you want to come over here, you're going to bring these up, like so, and you're also going to kind of untab the wheels, kind of. And give yourself a little bit more leeway. Also, spin the arms. Sorry, it looks a little jank at the moment. That's just that's just how it is. Okay. Make sure you. Have it pushed all the way up so that the arms can go all the way out like so. It's it's like on a shared joint or whatnot. Then you can take the waist and spin it around 180. You can push this up to kind of clear the backpack. So there you have most of the robot done. All you need to do now is there is... A slot on this side that's going to kind of peg in there and kind of lock the wheel into place. And then this side, you're going to need to actually need to time it. So what you need to do is you need to push it in here so that this part pops up. There's a reason for that. Because this is a fast action battler. It does have some quirks to it. We'll show you what I mean, but that's basically long haul in this robot mode. And not gonna lie, it's not a bad figure. It's not a bad figure for being like what, ten dollars back in the day? I mean of course that'd be a deluxe class or even a warrior class in twenty fifteen, but who cares? Um so yeah, I mean what could we compare it with? Well first of all let's compare it to another upcoming video which Either I need to not do this next video, this, uh, this this one for a video, or I need to get a brand new one with actually fixed legs because this one's missing parts. And I don't like doing missing parts videos a whole lot unless it doesn't really bother the figure. This one kind of does. Yes, I got animated Megatron, the deluxe class, and it's battle damage. And... I'm going to tell you what, it adds a scale as well with Earth Spark scale. I'm not going to lie. This is good enough for me. Like, literally, this is good enough. So, we're just going to put that aside. 
Uh, if you want Optimus Prime versus Long Haul, because I'm pretty sure that you guys probably want to see Prime going up against Constructicons. There you go. They're real simple. If you want something like, say, an actual deluxe class going up against them, well, maybe. Cliff Jumper, and uh, yeah, that's completely out of scale. Like I said, these some of these figures are completely or specifically for out of scale stuff. Now, how does this get on a human? Meh. Alright, so. Articulation wise, he's got nothing for the head. He does have a waist joint, which is surprising, but that's also for transformation. Let's him kick forward and back to a certain degree. They do not do full splits at all. They have over. 90, 90 degree bend of the knee for transformation. Arms can go this far. They cannot turn the full 360. Well, I mean, you could, but you actually... No, actually, you can. You just have to lift this down a little bit, but... Yeah. Anyways, this arm has over 90 degree bend of the elbow, which is nice. And also has a uh, elbow sole. But this one... This one is where, where I say the quirk come in. This is a fast action battler. Which means that it has a gimmick. And I don't collect gimmick toys that much, but... Check this out. You press here on this right here, and... There you go. Now, of course, this figure has gotten rusty in the last... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, but this this is, this is just a, so cute. The fact that my friend had this is crazy, and she wasn't gonna originally. She was originally gonna give. I'm you know, not gonna give this up, but wow. Th this was a compromise because there are some things out of the hall that she was missing, and I kind of still want to get those figures back. But at the time. Before the time of this video, we haven't said about when we're going to do that, when we're going to get it back, or if we are going to do it all. So, for now, I'm just fine as it is, and on top of that, if I did have to, um, if I did pay her again, if I did have to get another haul from her, I would have to pay her again. <sighs> and I don't have any money at the moment because I already spent it on Christmas, um, not, not Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. Yes, my birthday's coming up, or probably already have passed by the time of this video. I don't know. But, that's basically it. So, let's just turn it back to transformation. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to unhook from here and unhook from here. Also, take a quick look at the noggin if you want. Okay. I'm gonna focus myself. There we go. That's better. I mean, it's mostly accurate. I mean, what do you expect? Also, I enjoy playing Long Haul inside the Revenge of the Fallen video game, but not as much as Grindor. And, uh, yeah. That's basically it. So, spin these around. Um, you're going to fold this back out. You can plug the legs back in. You got two ports here, two, t two plugs. Just kind of do it like that, and then kind of just angle it upwards and don't do anything about it just yet just leave it like that because you're gonna need space for all this so you're gonna need to spin the arms like this and then you're just gonna need to set them into the uh the cavity here then what's gonna happen here is that you're gonna take this and then this little peg right here is supposed to peg into right there Like so. Exact same thing on your side. Like so. Make sure that this, this whole wheel is pushed in. And then lastly, these little clips right here clip into the insides of this right here. Kind of locking it mostly into place. And with all that being said... There's Long Haul in his video in his vehicle mode and the end review. 
like I said, the next review is going to be this Optimus Primal, which surprises me because this, just like the barricade from a couple weeks back, this is Authentics. And you know how much we do not like Authentics. And yet, somehow, this is just as good as the barricade. If not, maybe even a bit better. But, yeah, that's basically it for the review. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking notification so you can be updated on all updates and videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, to all I want.